Hey, what's up? My name is Chris and welcome to Coding in Public. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get something up and running on Netlify. It's really easy to do. We're going to basically publish this repository here that we're going to create locally, a Git repository, and then push it up to GitHub. You can also use Git uh, Lab and a couple other things with Netlify. Then Netlify is going to watch that repository online. Whenever it gets pushed to, it will then grab all that stuff and rebuild our site. And so that's what we're going to do today. Now, as you can see, uh, this is the live code. You're welcome to play around with it, and it's going to skeleton load here eventually once we get to finish the whole project here and then pull in this live data from Notion. Last time I showed you how to add that stuff in Notion and get the integration ready to go. But what we need to make sure you have is in addition to Git, you also need to have uh, an account with Netlify. It's free, and if you pull up app.netlify.com, you can create an account, and this is where we're going to start. All right, so the very first thing we need to do though is to go ahead and initialize a local repository here. So I've gone ahead and connected VS Code to uh, my GitHub account. Now I can just hit initialize repository and then let's go ahead and add a message like uh, init commit and then I'll hit like that and then we're good. Locally, we've got a local repository. Now we need to publish it somewhere. So I'm gonna hit publish branch and then I can do it either as a private or a public. Eventually this will be public, but for now I'm just going to do a private repository. All right, and now it should be up and ready. And if I were to go over and actually look at it, I've got the repository ready here waiting for me. And so this is what we're going to use to pull in Netlify. So let's go ahead into Netlify now, and I'm just going to hit import from Git. And let's go ahead and close down code so that we've got a little more space here. And then I need to connect my GitHub account. So I need to make sure I can authorize it. It should authorize it. Let me install it. And now all of my repositories show up here. Now what I'm gonna do is just come over here and search for Notion, and it should pull that up. I can now click this, and it will go ahead and look at my package.json and figure out what commands it needs to run. So Netlify is really smart like that. And so it sees that I've got a build command and knows what directory to publish that to. So I can just hit deploy site, and now it should be up and running in just a matter of a couple seconds. Now you can see here, it's actually showing you the process it's going through, if I click in here, it's gonna actually walk me through what it's doing step by step. If you care to know what that is, uh, like I said, it's just running that build command from Vite. And then eventually it will say your site is live. All right, so what I'm gonna do is come back up this way and let's go back to the team itself, the actual, uh, the actual site it built, and you can see it gave it some random name here. But if I click on this, this is actually live on the web. Now, I'll probably erase this by the time you see this, um, but uh, all that to say it's live here on the web, and that is available for anybody to see. Now, you can, of course, come over here and change the domain settings. So, like, if I didn't like that, I could come in here and say something like uh, Notion CMS. Is that available? Let's see. It's available. Okay, so there you go, Notion CMS. Maybe I'll leave that up uh, just so you can see that. All right, so next time what we're going to do is actually then write a serverless function using Netlify now that we've got our GitHub and Netlify connected. I'll catch you in the next one. Happy coding.